my definition of racism is when you feel you are above someone to the point that you just have an adverse hatred of that person simply because they're not of your race. Bigotry is when you have an abject hatred of a person simply because they are not of you. And the hatred that comes from that does need to be fought. And, and the reason why it needs to be fought in this society is because, you know, the white supremacists in the country are correct in saying that this is what built this country. But this country evolves. And this country is going to go forward with more than just white. You know, for the most part, I, I think that, um, I mean, you do have that conservative element that just feels that what we had prior to the 60s um, is, is key to us going forward as a country, as a society. But here you have another situation. You have a lot of, um, a lot of young people, a lot of people out there who, who themselves are not making it. And just like any gang, they reached out to anybody that can make their life feel whole. Because it's become a mainstream thing. We should not have to tell people why it's bad. In fact, I really don't think we have to tell people why it's bad. I think the bad people just basically got lucky this last election cycle, or rather the second to last election cycle. What I think society, what I think this country is doing wrong is it's not, I think it's so afraid of having to deal with this particular issue that they don't. And, and the sad thing is that we know that there's a problem. We, it's not, I, I hear everybody talking about, I'm surprised that this has happened in the 2017. Not really surprised. How can you be surprised? I mean, people keep telling you that it's going on and you just faded pay the blind eye to it. And it's like, you can't do that. This is what we get when you do that. Well, I always tell people that what they have to say about today's society does not matter. It really doesn't. If we are trying to figure out how to um, build this state, build this society, we're not gonna do it with them at all, period. If you get into the position where you're agreeing with them, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> we are gonna have a problem. There is nothing that you should be agreeing with, um, agreeing, not agreeing with a Nazi. There is nothing that a Nazi says that you should be agreeing with. Absolutely nothing. However, there should be an open door. There should be a dialogue. We should be talking with them in some capacity. That capacity is only to encourage them to get out of that scene. If they want to have a conversation, it's up to you whether or not you want to have that conversation, but the main focus is to let them know that you are going to be unwavering and making sure that they do not go further in their life until they give this nonsense up. Well, one of the, uh, the most important thing about One People's Project is that we have an open door policy. Yeah, we'll fight you, we'll argue with you, we'll yell and scream at you and call you bad names on the website. But, uh, <laughs> but the bottom line is we are going to be approachable. So you have a lot of individuals that realize that indeed this life isn't for them and they will pull out. They will say, okay, maybe I shouldn't be in this scene. They get older. Um, they're having kids, or there are things that are going on in the scene that just really scares them, and they want a way out, and they need somebody to talk to, and they find themselves talking to me.